Our correspondent Olu Phillips in the Ojota area of Lagos is now with the protesters. Well, Olu, I see you've since uh, shifted base uh, closer to the protesters. Uh, tell us, what are they saying there? Well, look at it uh, right there with the protesters. Uh, well, a couple of them, one with a megaphone. Uh, it's important to understand who they are, what their demands are, uh, such that the message can reach the government, the appropriate government that this is targeted at. So we're still keeping watch uh, what's playing out in the northern part of Nigeria, from Bornu to Gombe to Bauchi. Uh, not forgetting Lagos. So, Olu, if you can hear me, I uh, would like to hear from you and then, of course, the protesters, particularly what their demands are and, of course, uh, how long they plan to stay on this. All right. So, 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 sorry, 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 if you don't mind, if you don't mind, please. We are live on channel. You called your group. I remember two days ago you were on Channels Television um, calling out this. What exactly is the demand and how would you describe the protest so far? We have been making those demands from the Kadanda Bridge to here at Ojota. We have marched for over two hours and we have also made those demands copiously. And the demands can be summarized in this manner. We are fed up by the condition of hunger and hardship that President Tinubu has established in this country since May 29, 2023. And we are saying, saying enough is enough. Reverse all our people policy. Reverse all policies that have turned our people into slavery. Into slaves. We are demanding a better life for Nigerians. Yes. When you talk about what we are doing now, is to begin to establish the democratic organ of our struggle. And after we have done that, we are going to have a world press conference at this highway. So I like to call on the world media to give us some time to establish our security committees, our welfare committees, our entertainment committees, and after that, we are going to tell you what the next step of this struggle will be. But what you should tell people over there who are watching you is that Nigerians have woken up. Those who are afraid that there will be violence or will not be able to match, they should start coming to our daughter. The struggle has started. Let me ask you, I sir. Go let, 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 me, let me ask you, sir. Um, the government has said this, this protest shouldn't exceed um, three days. Can you tell us how long you intend to stay here? We are not aware of anything from the government. The lawyer, the lawyer the to the question, of, 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 yeah? is what we protesters have decided for ourselves. If anything will change about our plans, it will also be agreed democratically here, not just in Lagos, but across the country. Let me ask you, when you talk about this, let me ask you, does this suggest that you are going to be here today, tomorrow, and up to whenever? It suggests that this struggle will continue for as long as the issues are not resolved. At what point do you think um, you want the government to listen to you other than just being here on the fields, in the uh, in the marketplace, and protesting? At what point do you want to sit on the round table to align those thoughts of yours, those demands of yours, uh, for further government party to listen and come to a compromise? When you talk about anti-government, anti-people policies, for instance, what do you think is wrong if government officials who went through the villages and rural areas and communities and alleys of this country during election campaign and talking to people what is wrong if they have to come to the streets to have a dialogue with Nigerians if they actually want to negotiate. You want it on the street. You want it on the street. Can there be a round table on the street? You want a round table on the street. Why can't there be a round table on the street? A lunch yes. date on the street. Why can't there be a lunch date on the street? Once 
it's, it's a um, the texture and the tone of the conversation is getting some level what exactly could be wrong or who says it's wrong to have a round table on the street to have hands across the desk on the street and to have uh, to push the envelopes here on the street perhaps that's the new chapter the government needs to begin to look at and could oh, just be able to leave the streets because our as it is today uh, from our drive round town right Banking, no, uh, the press stations are not working, the market shops are closed, the malls are closed, the streets are deserted. We don't know how long this is going to last. Uh, someone needs to be talking and someone needs to be listening. Uh, our correspondent Olu Phillips right there in Ojota, where the protesters have gathered and they're demanding that the government come to the street to have a round table. It seems they've told Olu that uh, they want to have a discussion within themselves. So uh, for now, it looks like Olu will have to excuse them. Uh,